Girls don't play electric guitars. I want to start an all-girl rock band. Do you want to be in the band? You think anybody's going to take us seriously? The Runaways were kind of the first all-girls rock and roll band. I'm Joan Jett. Joan Jett, that's a cool name. It's also where Joan Jett got her start. Sandy West is a drummer. Joan Jett claims to be some sort of guitar goddess. Well, I didn't say that. They were the first group of girls to get together and play their own music with a lot of attitude. I play Shri Curry, who's the lead singer. We are choosing you to be a part of rock and roll history. And it's kind of how they get started and how it was for them in the 1970s. Men don't want to see women anywhere except in their kitchens or on their knees, let alone on stage holding guitars. Nobody believed that we could be as good as we were until they literally got past the fact that we were teenagers and heard the music and saw the performance. Dakota, it's really great for the Cherie character because no one's seen her go through this transition. It's kind of new for everybody. And Kristen is a superb Joan Jett. I think she's become her, you know, her essence is so crazy with her body language and it's really amazing transformation. They're both very devoted and dedicated to representing the people that they're actually playing, you know. I can tell Dakota's put a lot of work into the performing of the songs. The story of The Runaways just shows it doesn't matter how young you are. If you have a dream, you can make it happen. It doesn't mean you're not going to have to work hard for it. But if you got enough guts and enough tenacity, you can do anything. The Runaways opens a lot of doors for a lot of young girls. Mm -hmm. 